everybody hey everybody welcome back to my channel welcome back to another video I am doing a grocery haul I know a lot of you guys love the grocery hauls I don't know I don't know why because I love to buy the same things I'm a creature of habit anyway um, it's going to be a really short vlog this time around but you guys know I'm posting up content a lot this month um, but before I get into the grocery haul and I do also want to sit down and have a little bit of a conversation with you guys before I do that here's a quick word from our sponsors we have a sponsor roll it <laughs> Skillshare is an online learning community with thousands of classes for creative and curious people on topics including illustration, design, photography, video, freelancing, and so much more. I love Skillshare and I've been using Skillshare for some time now and I've been loving their productivity lessons as well as their life coaching lessons. I feel like this is the great platform for if you want to express yourself creatively, if you are a content creator, if you're a photographer, if you're a videographer, if you just really want to express yourself creatively, this is the perfect platform for you to take lessons and watch lessons from various experts in the industry. I'm personally a big fan of the productivity lessons and I've been taking them for about a week now and I've really been enjoying some of the great and informative information that I've been getting from Skillshare. So I've got a little surprise for you guys. For the first thousand people to click on the link in my description below, you can have access to Skillshare premium membership and have a free trial to the website. So definitely try it, check it out. First thousand people can get it down for free. And thank you so much to Skillshare for sponsoring this video. I really appreciate it. And I think that this is a great platform. Definitely check it out. Thank you very much to Skillshare for sponsoring this video. I really, really do employ you check it out. Skillshare is a really, really great platform if you are trying to be more creative, if you're a content creator, if you're an editor, writer, uh, photographer, it is a really, really great platform to learn from experts in the industry. It's a great way to harness your knowledge on something particular like photography or creative writing or productivity. There's so many, so many lessons that you can learn learn from experts in the field so definitely check it out thank you very much again to Skillshare for sponsoring this video now we're on to the grocery haul <laughs> so got a couple of things from Woolies as you guys know me I am a Woolies lover crazy about Woolies um, so I picked up a couple of things to get me through the week it is Sunday and you guys know that I always do a Sunday grocery haul so Let's, let's get into what I got, what a lot I got. Um, first things first, I got a rotisserie chicken because I do not feel like cooking today. At the same time, I do not feel like having junk food today as well. So I picked up a rotisserie chicken just to make with a salad or something like that. And later on this week, I am going to be having, not later on this week, in the next day or two, I'm going to be having guests over in the house. So I decided to pick up some croissant, croissant right for breakfast it's always a good it's, it's oh they're always great for breakfast um this time around i normally pick up the ruby grapefruit juice but i couldn't find it it was like sold out so i picked up the 100 percent freshly squeezed orange juice this is the one without any sugar without sugar without sugar we, we're, we're trying to you know even though it's december but we're trying we're still trying to make healthier choices also, I picked up my favorite rolls from Woolies. Uh, really, really enjoy having those with like just a sandwich, a roll, um, uh, and yeah, that kind of stuff. You know, I've always picked them up. Again, I need to top up on my biscuits because I have people visiting and stuff. So a lot of the time, people love to have um, tea with some biscuits. So these are the crunchies selections. You've got the chocolate chip. You've got milk chocolate, yogurt dipped chocolate chip crunchies. These are so, 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 so good. Um, and they're great because it's lovely when people come by and just want to have a quick snack. People seem to really love biscuits. Something that is new that I picked up and I really wanted to try out. In fact, I think I'm going to try it out now. This is the four cheddar and 
mozzarella danishes. So this is pretty much how that one looks. It's four. I could never finish this by myself, but because I, I am going to be having company, I decided to pick those up, but we will taste one together now. And then something that I haven't picked up in quite a while are the blackberries. These are delicious. I remember in high school, we used to pick these up um, at the netball fields. There were so many like mulberry trees and things like that, and they would always just grow and we'd pick them and eat them while we were practicing for netball. It was really, really good. So it's a, it's a little throwback moment, you know what I mean? <laughs> um, strawberries, because strawberries are life and we love strawberries in this house. We are berry lovers in this house. I did pick up some grapes as well um, because I'm planning to have like a, like a picnic set up with the people that are coming here in the house. Well, not in the house, outside in the garden. Picked up my plain yogurt because this I run out of weekly. Weekly, I run out of that. I'm done with the first packet. We got the second one right here. Let's see. What's new? What's new? I feel like I don't even want to talk about this because it's a weekly thing. This is my life now. I make green smoothies all the time, every single day, and therefore I go through the baby spinach very, very quickly. Picked up some bananas uh, because I'm out of bananas. And then I picked up some... This is more like... Uh, a fruit and veggie <laughs> grocery haul but these are the things that i really do eat religiously so i pick them up every single week and we also have the ripen at home nectarines lemons and i don't even know why i bought lemons because i'm pretty sure i do have lemons in the house and then lastly out of the bag are my favorite uh, sweet potatoes. These are the Cara orange ones. These are the ones that are orange on the inside. Our normal sweet potatoes are sort of like a yellow color, but these are the orange ones. I feel like these are just so much more delicious. So much more delicious. And they become so much more creamier as well when I prepare them. So I really, really enjoy these. Pick these up too. So that's pretty much all I picked up for my groceries for this week. Um, there is something that I do want to sit down and have a discussion with you guys about, uh, but let me pack this stuff away and then we'll get to talking. How's that? So these are the cookies that I've noticed that a bunch of people really, really seem to enjoy when they come to the house. My aunt, my friends, uh, my partner enjoys these. Like everybody seems to love these. And it's a nice mix. It's like the ones that are yogurt, um, that have a bit of yogurt. As you can see, those are the white ones. And then they are just the plain oat ones. Then you've got the chocolate chip ones as well with little chocolate nibs in there. And these are really good. Okay, so let's try out these. Let's just get out a small plate. I don't know with you guys, but for me with danishes, I don't like them hot or warm or whatever. I just prefer to eat them as they are. But with uh, croissants, <laughs> I do enjoy, ooh, okay, this, these smell quite um, savory. So it's not a sweet smell, of course, it is mozzarella and cheddar danishes. So it's not a sweet smell, it is quite savory. Um, I'm just gonna rip it apart and, and, and taste it. Oh yeah, mm-hmm. So before I let you know how that tastes, just pour a quick glass of juice. This is the first time I'm actually buying this particular juice, so let's see. Oh yeah, it's entirely a freshly squeezed juice, so it's just the sweetness is from the sweetness of the orange and not necessarily because of preservatives that have been added in there to make it sweet. So it's pretty good, so cheers. Cheers. Um, but this is really good, you can instantly taste the cheese. Uh, it sort of like runs through the pastry. The pastry is quite, the pastry is quite fluffy as well. So that's nice. I do feel like if you wanted to warm it up, you could. 
I have it with a cup of tea or a coffee. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. It could work. I'm thinking it's time to change out my makeup bag. I always um, rotate my makeup quite a bit. Um, that's the only way I get to use all of my makeup and not have makeup just go off while it's sitting in the cupboards. So we're going to do that. We're going to rotate my makeup bag for Christmas, December time, you know, when I'm out and all of that. The only thing that I really don't compromise on a lot is um, my foundations. I, I use the same foundations all the time because you guys know me. I'm a creature of habit. I do that all the time. But yeah, let's go upstairs. Let's change out our makeup bags before I have to head out because I'm Decembering. <laughs> Go to the street. Okay, so this is my current makeup bag. Now, this is not to be confused with the makeup that I keep in this room in bags let me explain let me let me explain now this is not to be confused with these two back here okay you can see not these two these I always have but I keep them in the house now when I mean my current makeup bag I'm talking about the makeup that I carry with me in my handbag for the day every single time I go out and if I've got makeup on I mean, if I don't. I'm not trying to make my bag heavier than it already is so I'm going to show you what is in here as I remove them and then I will show you as well what I will be replacing each makeup item with to just you know get my makeup on point for the day okay so the first thing out is this I don't know if you guys know but I do have um, a Fenty what's this kilowatt highlighter set this is the um, mean money and hustler baby one this is my favorite one I absolutely love this so normally when I take them out I often just um, wipe them down so that they're nice and clean when I put them away um, it's, it's an OCD thing. And then my powder is the NYX, NYX? <laughs> my powder is the NYX Stay Matte but not flat powder. This is what I use when I'm out and about to touch up my makeup. Really, really love this powder. And then I've got a lot of lip products in here. First out are these Revlon ones. Uh, these are the Ultra HD Vinyl Lip Polishes, which I picked up and also got some freebies from my sister as well. So I really, really love those as well. Oh man, they're so, so nice. I'm telling you guys, most of the things that are in here are lip products. I feel like I keep taking things out and then putting them back in. I've got a gloss here from MAC, which is pretty much finished. I'm gonna throw it out. And then a NYX Butter Gloss, um, no, Soft Matte Lip. A NYX, um, a NYX Soft Matte Lip Cream, which I absolutely love. That's my favorite one in Abu Dhabi. And another really nice gloss is the Revlon Kiss Plumping Lip Cream. This is so, so good. It's so good. If you're somebody who loves nudes, it's so, so good. Um, next out, we've got some of my favorite nude lipsticks. I'm going to actually throw that out. This is Whirl by MAC. Such a great color, absolutely love it. Probably gonna keep this in the bag again. Uh, this is a Smashbox, also uh, uh, kind of uh, matte. This is the Be Legendary Lipsticks from Smashbox. This is in uh, Safe Word, which is a matte nude as well. It's a really, really nice color. It's really, really pretty. Really, really nice color. Probably gonna keep that in there as well. And then uh, my all-time favorite nude is this uh, Mac. What is this? Hug me. Yeah, hug me. So this is the second one because I go through them so quickly that yeah. Okay. And then aside from that, everything else that's in here are pencils. All right. So last out is London. These two are my favorite, favorite NYX um, nude stay matte 
what are these soft matte lip creams they're my favorite ones i repurchase them all the time i've got uh backups of these as well i just love them all right so the bag is empty i'm gonna change it out and put in some new fresh makeup items the ones that i'm probably going to go with repeat go with are uh this the lipsticks i really don't lip 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 liners are always a standard in my makeup bag um pearl is a very nice color from mac to keep in the makeup bag as well and this one. all right so these are the newer uh products that i've decided to add to my makeup kit see as we are rotating products um i wanted to i was gonna go with the nyx stay matte but i think i'll leave that out this time around and go back to my much loved um rimmel stay matte powder and my shade in this is caramel i love it i talk about it in my what do you call it my lower end holy grail uh, makeup items love this so i'm gonna add that to the bag and then it is summertime for me i love to have like a glowy kind of um look and if i'm out during the day i love to sort of just apply this onto my body my decolletage area this is the nooks pocket savvy um pocket savvy is is, is my my word for it uh multi-purpose dry oil but it's got little um golden flecks in it so this has worn off because it's been sitting in bags throughout and all of that but i'm gonna put this in my makeup bag because I love to just look golden and glowy if I go somewhere and then I'll just apply it on my arms and my decolletage and I look <laughs> so good. Um, and then in terms of glosses, in terms of glosses, um, I'm going to add these two. This is the, um, it is summertime so brighter lips are a real thing. This is the volumizing Catrice, volumizing lip booster really really like this you guys know i have it in different shades so i'm going to add that to the bag and then uh my really loved and constantly repurchased gloss from mac is spice uh spice and spite but this is spice it's really really lovely for the summertime and it lasts a long time after you apply it onto the lips it's a really good one and then in terms of uh lip color that's just a little bit out there. I'm going to add heroin from MAC into my makeup kit because sometimes you just want to change up your lips, you know, if you're out during the day. I'm also going to add my Ruby Woo, which I'm not quite sure where it is, but I'm going to find it. I'm also going to add that to the bag as well. And then uh, um, powdering down, it's, a, it's really a thing. Um, I love these uh, rice paper. Uh, oil absorbing blotting tissues. I love to have this in my bag, especially for those really hot summer days where you're out and about. It's a love. It's a love affair. And then I, uh, what's this? Mascara that I just opened up now. This is the Maybelline, uh, the Colossal Big Shot Volume Mascara. I'm going to add this also into the bag. And then uh, bronzer that I'm going to add to the bag is the Palladio bronzer. And then lastly, as a highlight, I'm going to use this. This is from uh, Miss London Cosmetics. It is a uh, mineral highlighter in true gold. It's so pretty, guys. This, this is pretty much what it looks like. It's so, so pretty and so, so bright. I can't even dip my hand in there, so I'll just go over the rim. Okay, I have to dip something in there. There we go. That's pretty much what it looks like. Really, really pretty. Really pretty. So, yeah, um, that's the highlight that I'm going to add. And that's pretty much it. The only thing left to add to the makeup bag are the brushes, which is not a big deal. It's just one or two brushes, really, most of the time. Oh, one last thing, a liquid lip that I really, really want to use around the summertime quite a bit. This is the Anastasia Beverly Hills Hudson Liquid Lipstick. I really love this lipstick, liquid lipstick. I really love this. Love it, love it, love it so much. So I'm going to add that there. And that's pretty much it. Yeah. That's pretty much going to be it for this video. Again, thank you to Skillshare for sponsoring this video. We really, really appreciate it. And um, I'm going to go. I hope you guys enjoyed this really short vlog. I'm going to make sure that it's short. I hope you enjoyed it. And I'll see you in the next one. Sayonara.